morning, parents, families, friends, faculty, and staff. On behalf of the 2015 class of Grady College, thank you for being here this morning to honor and support us as our careers as journalism students draw to a close and we prepare to take on the world as journalists, advertisers, PR practitioners, event planners, filmmakers, sports broadcasters, and anything else that we can dream of doing. To my classmates, it has been my honor and privilege to share Grady College and the University of Georgia with each of you. We each arrived at UGA from different walks of life and chose our majors for many different reasons. And as we go forward, we'll lead markedly different lives. But despite these past and future differences, we'll always share four or five common years, the years that we spent here together. We'll always remember coming here as freshmen, trying desperately not to get lost in our first few weeks of class as we tried to comprehend why we had Spanish class in the journalism building and journalism class in the landscape architecture building. <laughs> it's been four years and I still don't understand. We will cherish the joy that we felt when we were accepted to Grady and the excitement we felt when we realized that we actually got our first choice PODs for class registration. <laughs> we'll definitely wish that we could relive moments like the night between the hedges when the dogs beat LSU. And maybe we'll even wish that we could go back to the times that we pulled all-nighters to start and finish a really important paper. We'll remember our once-in-a-lifetime chance to celebrate Grady's 100th year, and we'll remember becoming the centennial class of graduates here today. These things may sound like experiences from college that will serve us only as fond memories. And it's true, they are fond memories, but they mean so much more than that. These things are the ties that bind us together as the Grady Nation. And more importantly, these are the experiences that have challenged us, built us up, and prepared us to take on the world. A world that is ours for the taking, ours to go out and make better. What we have learned and experienced at UGA and Grady have turned us into people that we really probably couldn't have imagined ourselves to be four years ago. And as we trade this season of life for a new one, I hope that we don't forget the most important things our time here taught us and gave us. First, I hope that each of us never stops being a student. Even when we stop being Grady students, may we always remember to read as well as write, to travel the world and step outside of our comfort zones, to ask questions and truly listen to the answers, to challenge the assumptions made about us, and to never assume that we already know there is everything that there is to know. I also hope that each of us never forgets the value of community, particularly the one that surrounds us here today. As we move on to make new friends in new cities, may we always remember that just because we say goodbye to Athens doesn't mean that we ever say goodbye to this Grady family or to the Bulldog Nation. Let us never forget to encourage one another and to invest in the people around us. I'm thankful to be a part of the Grady and UGA family with each of you, and I truly can't wait to see what we accomplish over the coming years. To those of you who have joined us here this morning, our family, friends, staff, and faculty, we owe you more than just thanks for being here. To the parents and families who raised us, thank you for shaping us into the people that we are and for giving us the foundation to stand here this morning preparing to graduate from one of the most prestigious journalism schools in the entire nation. I hope my classmates will join me in a round of applause to thank all of our family and friends for making us the people we are here today. To my own parents, I owe you endless thanks for the way that you taught me to love learning, to love others, and to love the University of Georgia. Thank you for believing in me and encouraging me to chase after what makes me come alive, even at age four when my dreams were more along the lines of figuring out if I could actually send myself down the laundry chute. <laughs> to the faculty and staff of Grady College, thank you for giving us an education and for making this institution the very special place that it is. Dean Davis, thank you for giving me this opportunity to say thank you to Grady in a very special way and for everything that you do as the Dean of our college. To our professors, thank you for teaching and mentoring us for the last four years. I hope all of my classmates have been so lucky to encounter a professor who impacted their lives for the better. I have a good feeling that most all of us have because Grady is full of the kind of professors who do just that. I'm particularly thankful for professors like Dr. Betty Jones who has spent more hours than she can probably count guiding stressed out students like me down the right path. For professors like Dr. A, 
who made an overwhelming PR campaigns class seem completely manageable and sometimes almost fun. And for professors like Dr. Lee, who taught his students to always remember to rock on. Please join me one more time in a round of applause to thank these professors and leaders for all that they've done for us in our time at Grady College and the University of Georgia. So as we stand here moments away from being honored as graduates of Grady College, I have just a few final words to my fellow members of the Grady College of Journalism and Mass Communication Class of 2015. Congratulations, good luck, and go dogs. Woo.